Hi, my name is Ji Yun from Buckner University, and I'm currently a junior electrical engineer. And today I want to share my research about comparing quantum convolutional and classical convolutional architectures. And so in this research, you know, I focus on some com comparative works analyzing the quantum convolutional neural networks, which we call the QCNs, and their traditional counterparts convolutional neural networks, which we call the CNs. And I hope to show some of the complexities and the potential applications and also some current challenges of these two distinct models of similar architectures. And the exploration covers some key concepts in quantum machine learning and deep learning. And I hope it offers a fresh perspective on those cutting edge technologies. And now let's start with some background. So convolutional neural networks has revolutionized the way how machines process visual information. And it makes significant contributions to fields like image recognition and autonomous driving. However, the relentless growth in data complexity is pushing the CNs to their limits of power. So that's why people are starting to try to enter the QCNs. So by integrating the principles of the quantum mechanics with the neural network architectures, the QCNs has promised to extend the boundaries of CNs, offering solutions to some challenges that currently cannot be addressed by the conventional CNs. And so this, let's do like a quick overview of CN background. So the CNs is not a new technology, but they are quite different from the traditional neural networks because it incorporates the convolutional layers, the pooling layers, and the dense layers. So this design has allowed them to efficiently process complex visual information. However, they face the problem of significant changes like computational demands and memory requirements, especially when dealing with high resolution images or like high dimensional data. And these challenges have sparked the quest for more innovative solutions which has led us to the realm of QCNs. And this th about the theorem of the quantum data, of course, is based on like the quantum data and encodings. And the classical data has to be converted to the realm of quantum mechanics first. And the quantum mechanics always use the, what we call the qubits, which is like, has a counterpart as bits in traditional computers. And it's also the fundamental units of quantum information that is used to process data. And the quantum perspective enables the QCNs to potentially address complex and high dimensional data sets more effectively than CNs, showcasing the power of quantum computing in machine learning. And so as you can see, the quantum convolutional neural networks are quite similar in structures to the just CNs. That uh, it still has convolution layers and pooling layers, of course, because they work like similarly. But like the way how they are implemented are quite different because like it's based on totally different like data and information theories. In quantum computing, you have to use the quantum gates instead of like usually logic gates in traditional computers. But still, it represents a new frontier in data processing and is differing like fundamentally from the CNs and they do have theoretical advantages from the ability to efficiently manage large and complex data sets because they use like fewer parameters by using quantum gates. And also like the more advanced error correction techniques. So the unique, the unique design and approach opens up some new possibilities in data processing that are currently beyond the reach of traditional CNs. As you can see here, there are I show some performance comparisons. So in some cases, QCNs does do better than the CNs. And of course, in some cases, CN does do better than QCNs. So the CNs can achieve like a higher accuracy with lower parameter counts. And on and theoretically, they can handle like more large scale and more complex settings. And the power of quantum gates have like make it to process and analyze data like efficiently. And, but like mostly due to the, like the promo of like current use of quantum hardware because it's not a very mature technique yet. 
In some cases, CN does outperform QCNs quite a lot, especially in like the real quantum hardware, where the noise and the limitations can make a lot of like things. And also like when the data set is completely like small and simple, it's probably better to use the CNs because they are like they can also do this, get the similar performance while like uh, it's kind of like easier to build and implement. So there are some current challenges of the QCNs. One of the biggest is like the gradient vanishing, which means like uh, you know, like we when you do like traditional like neural networks and you want to like and there are like ways to handle the gradient vanishing. But like when you change to the quantum mechanics, it's like more difficult to do you know, because like the way how it works is totally different. And also like there are problems like the limited learning capacity due to the stage current stage of quantum computing technology. So to overcome all these like problems, and the scientific community is still exploring like the hybrid models that combine some advantages of CNs and QCNs. While this can work currently, you know, like we are still waiting for the quantum computing, either like hardware or like algorithms to be improved in the futures. So as we look to the future, we have like a significant advancement in quantum hardware that will enhance the capabilities of QCNs. In that case, it may outperform CNs in like all directions. And over the long term, we foresee the development of hybrid models capable of tackling complex computational problems that are currently beyond the scope of traditional image processing techniques. You know, while, uh, and while like still developing the technique of QCNs. And of course, we hope these developments hold the promise of transforming the landscape of you know, quantum neural networks.